According to the U.N., today's summit will, quote, showcase first movers and doers among countries most willing to act on the climate crisis. A day after the secretary general criticized world leaders for coming up abysmally short, his words, in their efforts to stem global heating. The meeting, however, failed to attract the heads of the biggest carbon emitting countries, including China's Xi Jinping, the U.K.'s Rishi Sunak, the France's Emmanuel Macron and President Biden, who sent United States special presidential envoy for climate John Kerry in his place. Mm. Joining us now is actor and director Kira Sedgwick. She marched in that New York City climate protest over the weekend. Um, Kira, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Part of the reason we're talking to somebody like you is you have such a giant platform and you've been doing this for so long. Um, talk to me about why you felt it was so important to get involved. Why you feel it's so important to be here today talking to me. I'm so happy to be here talking to you today. Um, I have been an avid environmentalist since the birth of my first child when I all of a sudden went, oh wow, the future matters. Oh, and, wait. Oh, wait. I need to pass I, something on. I got some skin in the game. I need to think about the future. And um, and what, what was abundantly clear back then is still what is abundantly clear today is that our addiction to fossil fuels and the burning of fossil fuels has contributed to the climate. It is the climate catastrophe that we're living in currently. And what I loved about this particular action of the, of the march to end fossil fuels is that it's just that. It's asking Biden to say, no more fossil fuels. Not, you're not allowed to burn anymore. Um, it was a huge march. It surpassed many expectations. 75,000 people marched in New York, as well as there were 700 act actions all across the globe, including um, six continents. So this was a very clear message, particularly from the youth, about, you know, you can't just do this halfway, Biden. Um, you can't just invest in renewables. You have to also no longer lease land to the ga gas and oil producers, such as, you know, the Willow Project and the Manhattan the Mountain Valley Pipeline. Like, you have to, you can't do both things at the same time. The time to move is now. Time is of the essence. And we, and we are giving you the political will to follow us. What do you say to people who feel frozen by the scale of the problem? I so much needs to change in order yeah. for us to, to adequately address climate change. It feels like we need to change the entire structure of our society to get there. Instead of doing anything, I'm just going to wait for innovation. I'm going to wait for some scientists to come up with a solution. Well, we have innovation. We have the power to do everything right now. We know ex we have solar, wind, and renewables. We know exactly how to do it. We need, we need to employ millions of people to do this. I understand the feeling of global, of global depression, I, uh, global climate depression. I feel it often and frequently. But what we need to do is talk to our leaders and, and g tell them, we've got your back. If you make the right decision, we will vote for you. I mean, the youth really wants climate to move. Uh, the youth really wants Biden to move on climate. If he moves on climate, he's going to bring all this it's youth It's the number vote. one issue. Right, exactly. Voters. Exactly. And it's depressing because the grown-ups in the room aren't taking care of the kids and they know it. So if we start doing that, we're going we're gonna, to, Biden will, will, create such goodwill. Um, I know you, you march in these, in these climate protests. You, you, you've been an activist for a long time. What do you do in your daily life to try to affect change? I have electric cars. Um, I have geo geothermal in my home in Connecticut. Um, I compost. I do everything from not buying plastic at the grocery store because plastic is never getting when recycled. When you can avoid it, I imagine. Well, you can avoid it all the time, but you can certainly make smart choices around that. And then, you know, I do what I can to get the word out. Um, the president didn't go to the, the summit today. He sent John Kerry instead. Or, or the reason why is because we ha there was a certain list of requirements. And unfortunately, part of it is that you have to be phasing out fossil fuels in order to be invited to this section of the climate summit. And because we are not phasing out fossil fuels so clearly, we are putting lots of money into renewables, but we're not phasing out fossil fuels because of that, we weren't really invited to that table. Falling abysmally short, as Falling the abysmally UN short. Secretary General said. Thank you so much. For